Are you busy sometimes in the morning where you can't make breakfast? Well, today we're going to make overnight oats. If you're new here, we have a five day alkaline meal plan that you can download. It's for beginners, it's easier to follow, and you can find the ingredients anywhere. Yes, we have a busy morning this morning. So let's go make some alkaline oats. Let's do that. First, we need to start by making our spelt flakes. Now, you don't have to make spelt flakes. You can buy some. Uh, my favorite one is in the description below. But I wanted to try to make my own flakes. So these are spelt berries I just got at my local health market. And then I soaked them with some spring water and overnight. And so I just soaked them enough where it covers just a little bit above the spelt because it will span some as the spelt like spelt berries absorb the water and then the next day you should have this little bubbles that tells you that it did its magic and then I just drain it here and rinse them out if you don't use it if you soak for more than 24 hours you are going to get a funky smelling flakes so don't soak for more than 24 hours so I use my pasta machine maker to make my flakes so i'm just adjusting it and setting it up you do need a glass bowl to put under it so it can catch the flakes and then after you get it all set up you're going to crank it so i started on a number four of my pasta maker machine and then I move it down to number six. So number four was to help me break it up a little and then the sixth one was able to give me that flat. If you're a lot stronger than I am, you can just go straight to number six. Um, this was late at night and I did not want to sit there and try to use all my muscle. And then I decided to make hemp milk. This hemp milk has dates as the sweetener. Usually I don't sweeten my hemp milk um, just because my daughter doesn't like it sweetened. But this time I decided, hey, I'm making overnight oats. I want that extra sweetness. And you can't go wrong with some dates. got our flakes and our milk ready it's time to make our overnight oats so first you start with the base and I'm just using these little fancy cups you can use any type of vessel you like and then I'm going to fill them halfway up with my spelt flakes and so these overnight oats one container feeds two adults it's pretty big and then I add about a tablespoon of my sea moss from herbal vineyard and you might be thinking, does it taste like sea moss or the sea? And nope, the hemp milk makes take, take away that sea flavor. And then I add about a cup each of the hemp milk in each of them. And then the flavors I decided to do is the first one is apple pie. And so grate your apple. Uh, you can cut the apple into chunks if you like. You don't have to grate it. But I found that grating, is it tastes good. So first I added one teaspoon of cinnamon. And then I added two tablespoons of date sugar and then I added my apple so notice the apple like filled it up the toppings pretty much fill up your container so you don't want to overfill it with the flakes because of the toppings and then you can give it a nice shake or if the shaking doesn't work then you can stir it up with the spoon that's why the spoon is so handy because it's right there and you can use it Okay, after I made my apple pie, I wanted to make like a carrot cake. So carrots are not alkaline approved, they are hybrid. So I decided to use butternut squash. So I grate up my butternut squash here. And then after I grate up my butternut squash, it's time to add all the, all the toppings. So I just add the butternut squash right away. And then I add some raisins. And then of course you need to add some cinnamon. And remember to get the real cinnamon don't buy that fake stuff so the real one is linked in the description below 
and you can give this a stir and I decided to use a different spoon for some reason to stir it but that's fine um, and then now they're ready to sit overnight so let's go put them in the fridge. Okay, so now let's taste them. Let's start with the ah. carrot cake. So it's all nice and smushed up. It came together very nicely. I believe the sea moss does help make it nice and smushy. Okay, I want a scoop where I have both butternut squash, raisin, and the spelt. It does have that carrot cake like texture. The raisins does help with that. Mm. If you like sweet carrot cake, this is for you. Mm. Okay, let's taste the apple. Uh, so once you open them up, you should mix them around just to make sure they did get mixed well. Okay, now I'm get a spoon. Uh, some apples in there and some spelt flakes. Let's taste it. Oh, that's good too. So, this one has that apple pie flavor. These are definitely sweet. If you want me to make a savory overnight oats, let me know in the comments before, below. So the oats themselves, the flakes themselves, are nice and soft. Okay, so this one, I would give an eight out of 10. It does taste like carrot cake to me. This one here, I give about a six out of 10. The cinnamon is too strong compared to the apples. So I either add more apples or I do less cinnamon. But both of them are really good. So please give it a try and let me know how it goes on the different social. Thank you for watching. And if you want to watch more videos, just click here. And don't forget to continue to live on this journey because you got this. Bye.